Okay. Wow. Talk about video problems today. I'm going to try to set the camera up here. I'll back up a little bit. Okay. Um, shoot. All right. Well, I started out uh, this video um, about 15 minutes ago and uh, I talked about how I switched over to a new Kodak camera instead of the GoPro Hero 9 and we'll see if it makes a difference for me. I I am not a fan of the GoPro cameras. Um, I've been kind of looking at a Mevo Start. They're like, I don't know, they're coming down in price. They were like 400 bucks also, but now I, I think I saw one the other day for like 268. So anyhow, I might um, I might do something that direction. Maybe maybe try a Mevo Start. So anyhow, we'll try this Kodak. It's a cheap camera, but it does do video. Um, it's a 16 megapixel camera and it does high definition video and uh, so we'll we'll give it a shot and see what it does. So today's video was about putting a block heater on my little John Deere compact tractor. This is the 2305 which is a 200 series tractor. It does have the loader and it's got the backhoe on it. You've probably seen it in pictures before or some of my videos before. and. Uh, Anyhow, um, I bought a block heater to put on it. I went to my local dealership and basically they charged me about three times what I would have paid for it had I just bought it um, on, what's it called, the green, the green tractor store. I'd have to look that up or the green, yeah, I don't know. It's like green tractor store. It's an on Deere, uh, online John Deere uh, parts website and uh, I'm kind of surprised because uh, I have I have purchased from both places before and in the past now I will say in the past for my John Deere zero turn um, the prices at the dealership have been within a dollar of the online prices all this time um, so I really I didn't even ask what their price was when I went to the dealership and uh, I was really surprised when, um, when it turned out to cost me almost $300 at the dealership. So that was not uh, a fun experience. And, and to add to that, their customer service really sucked there. So, so I bought the block heater and I found one video on YouTube that uh, showed where a guy was putting it in. And then, uh, so I watched that the other day and then I thought, well, if, you know, now I know where it goes because I had looked for a block heater before on the tractor and I couldn't find one. And, um, so here's why I couldn't find it. I'm going to show you. Okay. So if you can see this, which I think you can, so this is the cord for the block heater, but it wasn't attached. It was just it was laying down in the bottom of the tractor. It was, it was stuck down, down there. And, uh, that's why I couldn't find the block. The block heater is in the, the adapter plate is on and the heater is screwed into it, but the cord wasn't attached to it. So that's why I couldn't find, that's why it looked like I didn't have a block heater. So anyhow, okay. Um, So the cord um, has obviously been on here for a long time though because they've had it closed in the hood and it has nearly um, cut the cord in, in two. Oh, I'll try to zoom in here. It's, it's, uh, I can bend it and, and uh, I, I, I'm, it's right at the point of showing the copper wires there. So I really don't want to use this cord. So anyhow, but. I have all of the other expensive parts already installed on the tractor. So I need a cord. Here's the new. I know this isn't the adapter. This is the block heater. Oh no, this does say adapter. Interesting. Okay, so this box is taped shut with 
scotch tape that I don't have, or a cellophane tape of sorts that I don't have. And uh, here's the part number. And that says adapter. Okay, so that's got to be the adapter plate with two bolts and it screws to the to the block, okay? What do they call this? So this is the AR87167. Okay, so that actually is the block heater with the cord. So it's got the screw-in element and it's got the cord in there too. So here's what I'm gonna do. This is 300 bucks. I am just going to get back online. I'm going to go to the green tractor store. And I'm going to try to just buy the cord. Anyhow. Made in Canada. So, Alright, so anyhow, I'm going to go look for a cord. I'm not going to open those boxes. That's 300 bucks. I'm going to, get, I'm going to try to take that back this afternoon and get my money back on that. So, okay. I'll be back. We're going to run down to the internet in my basement and uh, we're going to go look and see what we can find. Oh, before I go, let's show you where it is. Okay, so start with the oil filter. Okay, you're on the right hand side of the tractor. You go from the oil filter to a water temp sensor right there. And then right above the temp sensor is the block heater. Okay, and I want you to see that's got two bolts, one on either side of it. I'm going to try to move the light. There we go. Okay. Okay, two bolts, one on either side of it that hold it into the block with a gasket. And then the center piece actually threads into that. You can change just the heating element. So good morning everybody. Uh, just a quick update on the John Deere tractor. Um, it's actually been several weeks since I filmed that uh, first part in the garage there. And then I wanted to do a follow up. Uh, so here's the new cord. I did order it off of, I think I got it off of Amazon. I looked at eBay, Amazon, and uh, the green tractor store, and pretty much everywhere had uh, about the same price. They kind of range anywhere from, uh, oh, I don't know, I think the lowest I saw was maybe $14, and then the highest was $25 or something like that. Um, so I gave, I can't remember 16 or 17 dollars for this one and uh, it's it's exactly right I mean it's the right plug all the way around um, and now I just need to go put it on the tractor and maybe I'll get that done today we'll see um, seems like I got a lot on my plate today but uh, anyhow so uh, I was able to take the other parts back uh, a great gal named Jamie at um, Grossenberg implement uh, in Belfouche where I went um, she wasn't there the first time when I picked up the parts, but uh, she was there the day I went to drop them off and I was in a big hurry because I was running late uh, for several things. And anyhow, she handled the return quickly and with a smile and it was very, that part was very good. My first uh, uh, experience with them, uh, because they have changed ownership, so my first experience was not very good, but... Uh, the second time taking the parts back was really good and she was really nice so uh, kudos to her um, for, for salvaging their company's reputation so um, okay so $20 fix uh, lesson learned here um, what's the lesson learned well I, I didn't think my tractor had the block heater um, turns out the cord was just ripped off, so I never I couldn't find a cord and I didn't know exactly where to look for the block heater to begin with that was part of my problem so um, but anyhow uh, Thank you to the guy uh, that that did show um, at least the location to start looking for the block heater on another YouTube video um, I used his help to, to figure it out for myself and then 
Um, so hopefully between him and me and anybody else, uh, we can uh, get you up and going with your tractor as well. So, hey, thanks for joining me. Um, we are doing a lot of different things these days, and um, I know my channel is changing a little bit to the 3D printing and radio-controlled airplane stuff. It's only because I do that as a business, and um, so occasionally it's what I'm doing, and that's what I like to share. So um, I have more boat videos coming. Those were just extremely popular on my channel, and uh, of course, we have about eight months of winter, um, but we are quickly approaching um, the end of winter, and we should start seeing more days, like in March. Um, we should have a lot of days uh, that break 50 degrees, and uh, so I'll be able to start putting the cars outside a little bit more, and um, I hope to get the boat put back in the garage one of these days, and um, I have more work to do to it, so I have a few more boat videos coming up and then of course I am taking you guys fishing this summer uh, in that bass boat uh, keep in mind that boat is for sale um, it is ready to go right now uh, the only things I'm adding to it is um, a central plug for a battery charger and some things like that but um, if you know anybody that's looking for a great bass boat um, we are uh, happy to sell that boat um, I, I am looking for another boat uh, currently, so um, hopefully we'll we'll do another DIY boat series uh, this coming summer. So um, anyhow, uh, yeah, what are we asking for the boat? I don't know. Um, I think we're going to be sixteen thousand without painting the trailer, and um, if we strip the trailer and uh, and have the trailer painted. Um, I think we're going to be looking somewhere in the neighborhood of 20000 for that boat. So um, we have been through that boat from nose to tail. We've rewired everything. Uh, if you've watched the videos, um, you have seen all the work that we put into it. And then, you know, yeah, please know that off camera, we probably put another 500 hours into that boat. So uh, anyhow, I think it's a great boat. It'll last somebody the rest of their life, you know, if you're looking for a really nice boat uh, that you're going to hang on to for a long time. So um, if you take care of that stuff, um, keep them at least covered, if not garaged, they'll last you forever. So anyhow, okay, thanks for joining me. Uh, we got a lot more going on and uh, we'll get this video up so you can see the John Deere stuff and then stay tuned for more from our channel. And we, as always, we really appreciate you guys. I love your comments, but I will say, 99.9% .9 of our comments have been positive, people that love the channel, and uh, I get a lot of personal messages from people saying, hey, love this video or love that video, keep them coming, and absolutely, we're going to do that. So, thanks again, and I hope you all have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness